in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. The psalm of the day is Psalm 49. Why should I fear when evil days come, when wicked deceivers surround me, those who trust in their wealth and boast of their great riches? No man can redeem the life of another or give to God a ransom for him. The ransom for life is costly. No payment is ever enough. That he should live on forever and not see decay. But God will redeem my life from the grave. He will surely take me to himself. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, our Defender, storms rage about us and cause us to be afraid. Rescue your people from despair. Deliver your sons and daughters from fear, and preserve us all from unbelief. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and ever. Amen. The Gospel today is from St. Luke, chapter 16. Jesus said, there was an, a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury every day. At his gate was laid a beggar named Lazarus, covered with sores, and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. The time came when the beggar died and the angels carried him to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried. In hell, where he was in torment, he looked up and saw Abraham far away with the Lazarus by his side. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, because I am in agony in this fire. But Abraham replied, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, while Lazarus received bad things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. And besides all this, between us and you, a great chasm has been fixed, so that those who want to go from here to you cannot, nor can anyone cross over from there to us. He answered, Then I beg you, Father, send Lazarus to my father's house, for I have five brothers. <clears throat> Let him warn them so that they will not also come to this place of torment. Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. No, Father Abraham, he said, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. He said to him, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced even if someone rises from the dead. Brothers and sisters in Christ, life after death. It is, I think, an eternal question of the mankind. We know the medieval book, Dante's Divine Comedy, in three volumes, Hell, Purgatory, Heaven. I do not believe that life after death is as Dante describes it. But is Jesus now in the Gospel teaching about it, life after death? 
I do not think so. The gospel of the day is not Jesus' teaching of life to come. Instead, he is teaching about this life and this world. When Jesus tells the parable about the poor Lazarus and the rich man, he tells a story about our world. He talks about a deep contradiction. He tells about poverty and wealth, which live side by side so very close to each other, but never seem to meet. The essence of Jesus' teaching is that this life is important. What matters is how we live with each other, how we take care of each other. What is important is how we face our neighbors. Of course, there is nothing new here, because living as one's neighbor and loving one's neighbor is the essence of the Christian life. Today, Jesus asked, asks us, what is the responsibility of a rich man towards a poor man? And to put it more globally, what is the responsibility of the rich countries towards the poor countries of the world? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being able to come to you like children. We come with our joys and burdens. Thank you for allowing all of us with our diverse backgrounds to be part of your family. Father, you create new life. Renew us with your spirit. We remember those who are lonely and are rejected. Make us sensitive to hear their cries. Help us to treat each other with consideration consideration and patience. We remember those distressed by circumstances of life, those crushed by worry and fear. We pray to you on behalf of those who are exhausted by work and hurry. Father, you create new life. Renew us with your spirit. All the earth is full of your gifts. We pray to you for those who do not see your goodness. We cry on behalf of those to whom the world is a barren desert and life is a constant struggle. Help us to carry their burdens, for we are part of the same humanity. Father, you create new life. Renew us with your spirit. We pray for wisdom to those who wield power, that they may see the irreplaceable value of every life. Open the eyes of those who ignore their responsibility and the ears of those who do not hear the meek of the earth. Release us from selfishness and the seeking of personal gain when we make decisions. Father, you create new life. Renew us with your spirit. You are present in all fears of life. You see children resting in their mother's arms. You see the adolescent search for identity and a place in life. You see the adult burdened by responsibility and the elderly who are losing their strength. And those who are lonely. We pray that those who are dying might find eternal peace and rest. Father, you create new life. Renew us with your spirit. Amen. Let us now join in the closing prayer. Remember, oh merciful God, your church. Deliver it from all evil. 
perfect it in your love. Bring it united and holy, holy from the four corners of the earth into your kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretch out your loving arms on the wood of the cross to bring everyone into your saving embrace. Stretch out our hands to bring the whole world into your knowledge and love. For the honor of your name. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord God, we bring before you the Christ of the sorrowing world. In your mercy, set us free from the chains that bind us and defend us from everything that is evil. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. <laughs>